What's up everyone, Fuzzy Games Beth here. So today let's learn how to make a drug of a boat. Well, a lot of people have said that it looks more like a raft, so I mean either or. <laughs> so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is let's go ahead and grab a part. Obviously, I'm not the great the greatest modeler out there, so I'm just gonna use a simple part and this is going to be my boat. And then once we have that all done, so if you have like a mesh that you want to use, that works as well. But I'm just gonna use a simple part and I'm gonna rename that to boat. So remember, if I'm renaming something uh, apart to something else, that means we'll just be referencing that later in our script. Cool, so go ahead and put that inside of a model. So I just went ahead and add that inside of my workspace by clicking the plus sign and I put the boat inside of our model. And inside of our boat, let's add a few things. Let's go ahead and add angular velocity, body force, and then let's go ahead and add an attachment. Cool, so those are the three things we need so far. Um, yeah, and then we'll be go ahead and, and referencing that in just a second. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the properties of the three things that we just added. Let's go ahead and start off with angular velocity. Okay, so inside of angular velocity, inside the properties of it, let's go ahead and you see where it says attachment zero under attachments. What you're gonna do is go ahead and click in the empty box right there. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on attachment. Cool. So that's it for now. So inside of our model, let's go ahead and add a vehicle seat. So a vehicle seat essentially, obviously where we're going to sit when we drive our boat. I'm gonna move it a little. Yeah, okay, that looks good enough. So when we have our vehicle seat, we wanna make sure we weld that seat part to our boat or else when we drive, um, you know, the parts are kinda just not gonna stay together and they'll just move around and we don't want that. So we're just gonna go ahead and create a weld constraint to our boat part. So from the vehicle seat to the boat part, cool. That's it, really simple. And then we're gonna go ahead and move our vehicle seat back down to our boat slash raft. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. You can set the transparency of it to one if you don't want to see it. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it visible just so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So that's what we should have so far in our Explorer page. If you look under our model, we have quite a few things. So inside of angular velocity and inside of our properties, let's change our max torque to a fairly high number. So the bigger your boat, you know, the higher number you want it to be. So it means it's easier to move the boat around. Cool. Cool, so that's done so far. Let's go ahead and add a script inside of our vehicle seat. Go ahead and delete that print statement. We don't need it. So let's go ahead and start off by writing our variables first. Where local seat is equal to script.parent. We have a function and we're going to set the properties of our angular velocity and our body force. So our angular velocity essentially is rotating our part. You know, we can go left and right. And then our body force is essentially how fast the boat is moving. That's it. Cool. Hop inside of your game. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Hopefully it works. It should. Let's go ahead and sit in our vehicle seat and then let's move around. Look at that. So we can, you know, move left, right, steer it most anywhere we want it to steer. And then we're going pretty fast. Cool. So as always, leave a like, give us a subscribe if you enjoyed this comment. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have fun creating. Peace.